Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will learn how to create a list and access the elements of that list in R. So in R, to create a list, we have a built-in function named list and this built-in function takes arguments which are the elements of the list. So as we know that a list is a data structure in R that accepts values belonging to different data types. So we can have elements of different data types without any restriction. So here we are creating a list named x using the list function and this list has three elements one high and true now when we execute this statement let's see what the output is here the list has been printed notice that each element of the list is specified in double square brackets notation and this is a very important thing that you must remember that each element of the list is accessed also using the double square brackets notation so now if we want to print the first element of this list then what we will do we'll first write the name of the list that is x then we'll specify the double square brackets and inside those brackets we'll write down the position number similarly if we want to access the third element we'll write down the position number three inside the double square brackets so when i execute both these statements i should get the first and the third elements of the list x so as you can see the first element is one the third element is true now suppose we are created a list named y such that the first element of the list is itself a sequence and the remaining elements are character strings okay now if i want to access the second element present in this sequence 5 to 10 then how will i do so what will i do first i will write the name of the list then i will write this the, uh, then I'll first access this sequence. So this is the first element of the list. So what I'll do, I'll write double square brackets one. Now, since I have accessed the first element, I will go inside this element to access this sequence second element. So what we have done, we have first written the name of the list. Then we have specified the position where this sequence is present in the list. Since it is present at the first location, so I have written double square brackets 1. Now, in the next step, we will write the location or the position number of the element from this sequence that we want to access. Since I want to access the second element of this sequence, which is 6. So, the sequence is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I want to access the second element so that position number I will be writing in the normal single square bracket notation. So let's print this statement and see the output. As you can see we have got the second element 6. Now if we want to print more than one element at the same time then also what we can do we can use the C function to specify the position numbers at the same time to print all these elements so for example i have to print the first and the third element of this list say y so what i will do i'll use the single bracket notation and inside that bracket i will create a sequence of position numbers whose elements i want to access so here i want to access elements one and three so i have created a sequence one and three and when i execute this statement I will get the two elements 1 and 3 that I specified in the sequence similarly if I change this statement I say I want elements 1 3 and 2 and then I execute this statement let's see what is the output I first got the first element of the list which is a sequence of six numbers then I got the third element which is your because in this sequence I specified the position number 3. Then I got the second element of this list which is mine. Okay. So this was all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.